Hey peeps, it's Andy Kuhn with FCproducer.com. Thanks for checking out this review tutorial of Fixes Keyer 2.0 for FX Factory. I'm gonna be doing this tutorial in Final Cut Pro, but you can also use this plugin in Motion, After Effects, and Final Cut Express. All right, now the importance of having this is to pull a perfect key from green or whatever, green, blue, whatever you're gonna use. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do. The first thing I'm going to do is you look at the footage, and this is the lovely and talented Miss Lindsay Bass. She agreed to this. I don't know if she did. So first thing I'm going to do is you look at the image, and you say, you get a big, ugly light there, and the green isn't protruding all the way through the screen. That's not a problem. I'm just going to add a mat, and we'll get rid of that. So I'm going to just drag a mat and drop it on her, and I'm going to bring in all the corners. So I'm going to take one, bring it there. Two, I'm going to leave it alone. Three, bring it in here. Four, come on in. Same with five, come on in. And then six, move over here. Seven, move up here. Right there. Right there. And then eight, over here. The reason why I did that is because she moves her arms a little, and I, I didn't want it to get caught in there. So... I can move that around. Now I'm gonna hide labels, bye bye labels, and I'm gonna change that to final. Now I'm gonna worry about the green. Yes, that's the background I chose. So I'm gonna come down to the fix keyer folder and I'm gonna grab a fast keyer. Now I just drag and drop and tutorials over it, children. I mean, that's how cool and useful this is. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. No, just kidding. Um, there's a lot more to this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the fix right here. And boom, we also have the beautiful instructions on how to do this. And it gives you all details. This is about the fast here because that's one I just dropped in there. It tells you about everything in this plugin, which is great, useful. I love it. All right, back to the tutorial. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to change chroma reconstruction to 422. That's what I shot with. I'm going to leave all the key or high and low uh, where it is because it did a really good job of knowing what I wanted. Um, despill. I'm going to bring the despill up just a little bit to get rid of the green. Now, the despill, what happens is when you pull your key, sometimes there's a little bit of green around the edges of your subject. I just like tracing that. That's pretty cool. Anyway, um, so... What it does, it doesn't get rid of it. It kind of turns the green into a purplish. And the more you go up, more purple it's going to get. Um, and it's not like crazy Prince purple. It's kind of like very low-key purple. So it kind of blends in with any other color. Um, but this is the great one right here, the light wrap. What you do is you just grab your background image and drop it right here. And then what it does, it goes, ar it goes around your image. So let me show you what it does. So I'm going to bring up the amount and just blow it up. And you see that it glows around your image, which is great because it gets all because it gets rid of all that residue. And it since this is a dream sequence, I'm cool with the light wrap. I want to make it a little bit wider. So she's like, you know, that 70s show kind of thing. Bring it up a little bit more. Perfect. That's all I want. And I love it. I'm in love with this key. Oh, it looks so good. I don't see any green. I don't see any re residue whatsoever. All right. So if you're saying, you know what? The fast cure didn't work that well. I didn't like the fast cure. I want more controls. You can come back into fix cure, grab the key, drag and drop, and boom, it does the same thing as fast key. It kind of understands what it's looking for and breaks it down. But in here, you have choices. You can actually go ahead and choose the green that you want with the YUV keyer or channel keyer, which is green. I'm going to leave it at RGB because it works best for me. Uh, another thing you could do is you could check the mat in here. And you can see the edges right here, which is not a problem. We'll take care of that in a little while. So what I'm going to do now is I have the keyer. I'm going to go ahead and grab the despill. I'm going to bring that in. And yes, you can click on this anytime to understand what's going on. I'm just going to despill the edges. And when I do that, use method one, method two. I have no idea what the difference. So maybe if I clicked on here, I could tell what the difference is. Let's see. 
despill method one. It's just a different algorithm. So whatever works best for you. And then I'm going to bring up the edge width just a little bit. Now I'm going to come down to the despill amount and bring it up. And I'm okay with the despill right there. Got some, most of that green out of the way. And you come down to the light wrap. And you could do the same thing with the light wrap that you did in the fast key here. Come down here. Um, grab this background. Just drag and drop in here. And then you can just go ahead and bring it up. And she booms. Booming with some light wrap. <laughs> it looks so good. But in this one, you have a background blur where you can blur it a little bit more than you can in the fast keyer. So you have a little bit more controls in the in the regular ones, which actually might work to your benefit. But I like the fast keyer, so I'm going to keep that one on. I'm going to turn off all these other ones. I was just showing you the individual... Um, the individual plugins that you can use as a whole. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to render this and play it for you and show you how cool it looks. All right, so here's what we got. <laughs> this is by far the best keyer that I've ever used in Final Cut Pro. It makes it fast, simple. The light wrap really makes it for me. Um, putting that blend around your, your actual uh, subject is incredible. So that's it. It's, I mean, if you don't go out and get this for your business, I'm not going to say anything else. I'll take your clients. Yes, I will. Anyway, I'm Andy Kuhn with FC Producer. Thanks for watching this. And go out and get some fixing. Later, peeps.